Hey guys and welcome to another episode of my Trove News series. In this series I give you guys all the information that I try and give us and I give it to you guys in one easy video. Now, we haven't had much to talk about the past couple weeks in terms of news videos. In fact, last Friday I didn't even make a news video because there's just nothing to talk about. But man, do we have stuff to talk about today. Some good and some pretty pretty bad so let's get into it so the first thing they talked about was they're going to start changing the way they do patches instead of weekly they're going to do them bi-weekly meaning every other week they will be putting out patches instead of every single week which i agree with this means that their q a team can actually do something and not put out patches like the last patch and the patch before that so hopefully this means that they're going to have a little bit less bugs when it comes to patches there's still obviously gonna be a million bugs in this game. That's just how the game is. Your ultimate on your Shadow Hunter is probably never going to work. Your projectiles are never going to land if you're aiming at a cursed skull. That's just the game. The game is broken. But in terms of, you know, patches actually breaking even more stuff, hopefully that's gonna be less so. So hopefully that's a good thing. Also, they're adding multi threaded clients finally. This is going to help CPU usage, like, just a million. Assuming they do it right. And they don't do it like Rift, because this is with Tryon games in general. Tryon do not support multi-threaded CPUs. They are horribly bad at optimization. This has happened in Rift, where players had to go into the task manager and set the affinities and stuff like that. Um, so they're finally going to add official multi-thread support for Trove, at least. And hopefully they do it right, because that means that you will have as much FPS as you want, um, because everything that comes down to Trove is limited by your CPU. Uh, like I just said, it's across all Tryon games. All Tryon games are limited by their CPU. They are bad at optimizing for CPU. Your GPUs are a factor, obviously, but they're not as big because they're not actually bottlenecked. Right now, the CPUs are bottlenecked and your GPUs are untouched. You can have your GPU running at max performance, however, your CPU is going to run on only one thread. So hopefully, this is going to fix the FPS problems. Um, again, this is only FPS problems. This isn't going to affect lag. Uh, this isn't going to affect rubber banding. You know, if you're flying and you get thrown to the ground, it's going to still happen because that's server-based. This is only FPS-based, what you personally see in your, you know, game. You're not going to have the sludgy, nasty, you know, FPS drops and stuff like that. Uh, we'll see if it works, though. They also, you know, quote-unquote, fix the uh, memory leak, which is still there. So hopefully, you know, I'm praying that they do multi-thread support. Right. This is like what I'm praying for the most out of this whole thing. So now we're going to move on what's going live next week. This stuff is coming in the future. I think the patch thing is starting next week, but the multi-thread support is for the future. They're going to have a beta for that so people can test it out and make sure it works and all that stuff. So again, hopefully they do it right. Please, please, please. Uh, but this is this stuff that I'm going to talk about now is everything that's going to happen next week. This is all going live next week. I think it's already all on PTS. I'm not sure. But first things first is the daily loot chest. So these are going to be a one-a-day thing. You know, you log in and you can get your boost you can get boosters out of them you can get dragon coins out of them you can get omni boxes meaning you know omni styles and, and recipes and then you also get rare results um this is only what we've seen by the way not you know not all the loot confirmed i don't know there could probably be more stuff but first things first on rare is patron pass they showed off the patron pass on stream they also said you can get ninth lives through these um so that's pretty cool uh, there's also some ultra rare stuff which we'll get into later because they they veered off and then they went back to it so we'll, we'll just go in the order of the stream how the stream went um so that's all we really know right now is patron and ninth lives for rares um you only get one a day like i said and you can also get eight per week through a new xp contest that's going to consist every week so every week um you know how the mastery one is the xp one is going to kind of be the same but you have to actually work towards it instead of mastery just being set you know you just get a reward every week depending on how much mastery you have um so this is going to be for eight new boxes you have to get xp it's not a competition you literally just have to get experience and unlock the new ranks so the top one is 10 million and i saw a lot of people had an issue with that in the chat when i was watching their stream and i'm just gonna tell you it's not as bad as people make it out to be 10 million throughout an entire week is not hard at all uh you can get that all on saturday if you wanted to plus you can actually grind experience through shadow towers which is very abusable um so this is probably why they said it's 10 million they also said they're in you know they will take suggestions and stuff like that i think 10 million is fine though to be honest guys because they themselves said that this is for players that play the entire week if you only play maybe like one hour a day this contest isn't for you i'm sorry it's, it's you know you can get, still get the first two rewards you know you can get tier one tier two maybe even tier three but for the top top tier 
It's for the top tier players, guys. It's for the people that actually play the game. Um, I know that's going to be hard for you to like. That's hard for me to say because I obviously do this for a living, so I have the time to just sit down and play all day. Well, not really. I do have a daughter, guys. I do have a real life uh, in, on, you know, alongside YouTube. But I can spend a large chunk of my day towards grinding Trove. And this is for the players like me that actually play the game. I know if you play an hour a day, you're still playing the game. You're, you're a player in the game. But it's kind of hard to explain because it's just for the uh, top players, I guess that's a better way to say, because that's what the dev said. It's for the players that, you know, play the most out of all the others, get the top, top reward. It's only three more, um, and yes, they do have some very nice loot, but, you know, they're just, re the reason why I don't have a problem with this, even if I was personally only playing an hour a day, the reason why I don't have a problem with this, because there's no benefit, like, it's for the players that are actually playing the game, you know, I can understand, I'm reasonable, I'm a reasonable person, obviously that's why, you know, I can see things, you know, and I go neutral most of the time. Um, even if I don't agree with something, I still try to be neutral about it. Uh, and I can do that with this one because I can understand, you know, just because I'm not playing, you know, 10 million experience a week, somebody that does, they earned it. They played for that long. Um, so I guess I hope that, you know, explains it a little better. I know I'm going to get maybe a little hate for saying that, but I get hate all the time. So, you know, <laughs> it's okay. Um, next week or ne not next week, next up is again, we're going to come back to the daily loot chest in a little bit because they did veer off uh, to kind of break this news right here. So this is bad news this week right here. So class contests. Uh, this only affects class contests, so this doesn't affect the mastery contest. They are removing ninth lives from the class contest. You know, you get the three from uh, the three classes. Uh, you well, you get one each, so you get three per week. You still will get a ninth life for mastery, um, and also, like I said, they did add ninth lives to the daily loot chest, um, and they're still going to be contained in the booster boxes. However, uh, they're removing ninth lives from rank two, so you know whatever that was. Uh, I think it was like 2,500 plus uh, rank or something like that. They're removing that and they're changing it to two Empowered Gem boxes. And then they're also making the first two ranks score-based instead of rank-based. So you don't even have to compete for them. So if you're worried about being rank 2.5k plus every week, you don't have to worry about that anymore. You only have to be 5k power rank on all three classes, which at this point in time uh, should not be a non-factor. Most people in the game, if you actually play the game, uh, since, you know, Manual Power came out. For new players, obviously, this is going to happen, but you're a new player, so you shouldn't really be worrying about this. Um, most players will have 5k on multiple, multiple, multiple classes. You can get that in a day if you're already an endgame player. Um, again, it's been three months, so I don't think there's really much room to complain about this. I think it's a very good thing, and two Empowered Gem boxes are miles better than a Knife Life, to be honest, guys, because, yes, Knife Lives are basically a guaranteed level up, but two Empowered Gem boxes a week means two more chances well this is actually six because it's across all three so instead of leveling up a gem only three times you know one gem three times you get two uh six empowered gem boxes which is you know six more chances at diamond dragon egg six more radiant uh you know the fragments whatever they're called i forget what they're called uh empowered gem fragments to make another stellar uh gem because you'll probably get you know four uh, so, you know, four from the previous 12, and then you get six more, so we're getting 18 per week now. It's a million times better, guys. This is coming from someone that's a very endgame player, and basically all I need is Empowered Gems. This is more chances at Stellar Gems, you know, three star Stellar Gems, just better Stellar Gems in general, uh, plus Diamond Dragon Eggs. This is amazing. I really like this part of this, you know, class contest part. However, the way they're going to try to fix the whole uh, switching gems is a little much. So they're going to make it so you cannot uh, take off gems if you don't have a regenerator. It is going to cost a regenerator. I don't know if they're going to keep the flux cost. They they should probably take, if they're going to go through with this, they should probably take the flux cost off because that's just going to make players even more mad. But you need a regenerator to take any gem off any gem. If you have a common gem, guess what? You need a regenerator to take it off. This is very, very, very much, like, this is bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this as it is, because non-class contest, or non-contest classes, so say it's Dracolite, uh, Fae, and Tomb Razor. Or I'm just making these up. Say it's those three classes this week. Guess what? If you play a Boom Ranger and Neon Ninja, like, those are your two mains, and you, you like to switch between them to do maybe Shadow Towers, and then once you're done with Shadow Towers, you can switch your uh, Boom Ranger to do Dungeons. You can't do that anymore because you need you need nine regenerators, <laughs> or at least eight if you have at least the class uh, the class gem on your class. You need eight up to nine regenerators. Do you know how much that is? I'm I'm gonna do that on my phone real quick. 
because that's a little insane. So you need 500 cubits times eight. You need 4,000 cubits just to switch your gems around for one time. That's a one-time thing. 4,000 cubits for one-time switch. <laughs> like, that is pretty insane if I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm being neutral right now. This is, there's like, uh, it's, there's a point where you get too much. I would agree, like, I agree they need to do something about switching gems, and there is a reason why they're doing this. There's a reason why it's so much, because they don't want you to switch gems. They don't want you taking 20k power rank from a Neon Ninja and throwing it on a Boom Ranger. They don't want you doing that. I can understand that. Um, that's just something they don't want in general. But... <laughs> I think this is a little much. I mean, I can agree that they don't want people doing that. So that's why it's so expensive. It's going to be so hard to get booster boxes. Um, if you go through with this, you're never going to get uh, anything from the store. Every, you know, if you want to uh, get de uh, death defying, you can't move your gems for you know a month. Um, you're going to be stuck not moving your gems for a month, and then you know after that month, then you're like, okay, now I need to work another four days to just move my gems once. This is a little much. I'm going to be honest. Uh, they shouldn't have used cubits, in my opinion, because now people, if they want to switch gems, uh, have to, you, you know, they can't get boosters. That's the whole point of cubits right now, is boosters, because boosters are a very, very, very highly prized commodity right now. Um, you need boosters for every single gem. You need them for nine gems to level up 25 times. Um, so in my opinion, this is a little much. They should have made a separate currency, in my opinion, and if Tryon, you guys are watching this, this is my suggestion. Make a new item that doesn't cost cubits, but is has something to do with gems. Maybe you have to deconstruct maybe like a thousand gems for one fragment or something, or one key. Uh, maybe a, like a degenerator key or something like that. A degenerator. Instead of a regenerator, make a degenerator. And, you know, make it so you have to deconstruct a thousand, you get a thousand fragments from deconstructing a thousand gems in the deconstructor, and then you can make one of these degenerators. And then you can use those for all nine of your gems. Because a thousand boxes are pretty hard to get. I'm not gonna lie, even if I grind all day it, i only get around a thousand boxes maybe like 1.2k if it's not wednesday i get around 1.2k per day so that'll be much better in my opinion maybe even make it 500 it depends you know obviously the balancing uh but i don't think they're gonna take this as a suggestion this is just my suggestion if you guys like this maybe go and suggest it to try on themselves you know post it on reddit or something uh this is just my personal suggestion obviously there's probably even better ways to go about it than my suggestion but this is just my opinion uh, but yes the cubits part is a little much you should not be detrimenting people for their daily currency that they only get a thousand of a day like if you get a thousand a day you can only move two gems over a day <laughs> like it's pretty crazy and then you can never buy boosters again um i know like i said they don't want you moving gems i understand that but they can do it in a different way like i said with a whole new item it doesn't have to be a degenerator and you don't have to deconstruct a thousand gems or whatever uh just make a new and item however you want try on whatever your glorious mind can come up with apparently <laughs> um do something new in my opinion that's my opinion and I'm sticking with it. Uh, so next up is that we're going back to the daily chest. So that's pretty much the bad part of the whole thing is <laughs> that little regenerator part. Um, but next up is the ultra rare rewards in the daily chest. So we're going back to daily chest, like I said earlier in the video. So there are going to be ultra rare rewards, you know, again, like Gonda's, like, you know, uh, other stuff, the uh, diamond dragon egg, uh, like they did with chaos or uh, what are they called? Golden golden ticket chests, whatever they were, it's basically the same concept. So they're gonna have four different things, I think, let me count, one, two, yep, four different things. So, they're gonna have a mega pinata. A mega pinata is going to deconstruct for 800 pinatas, so 200 each season. They're going to have mega dragon coin, which will, if you deconstruct it, you get a thousand dragon coins. Then, we get into the crazy stuff. So, mega chaos chests. So if you deconstruct this thing, and you get it, if you're the lucky person that gets a mega chaos chest, you can deconstruct this for 1.5 thousand chaos chests. That's like 3 million flux right there if you deconstruct one of these things and you're lucky enough to get one. You just get 3 million flux and these are daily. These aren't like Gondas because, you know, Gonda, you have to spend 10,000 per box to have a chance at a Gonda. So, you know, people spend 10 mil for a thousand Troves of Wonder, which is coming pretty soon, by the way, guys, <laughs> on my channel. Uh, people spend 10 mil and they don't get a Gonda. They get maybe like 3 mil out of it and they just wasted 7 mil. This, you log in and you get a chance to just get it every single day for free. 
you know, 3 mil flux. That's why it's so much better. Even though God is worth 12 mil, you know, it's way more risky. This is free. <laughs> and you can get it uh, every single day. So the last thing they're uh, adding is mega mega flux tanks. And these, if you deconstruct, will give you 100 mega flux tanks, which is a mil. Not as bad as Chaos Chests. Well, I mean, not as good, technically, as Chaos Chests. Because uh, Chaos Chests, are, again, are like 3 mil, and that will only rise with the price or decline with the price. Uh, mega mega flux tanks give you a million flux, just straight up a million flux. Now, there is, obviously, this is good because it didn't exist before the whole daily chest thing. I don't think there's any complaints about daily chests because they didn't exist before. They're just something new and add stuff to the game. However, this is actually a little effective of the game. It doesn't just add. It does decline a little bit. So, if you add 3 million flux worth of items in the game out of nothing, just snap your fingers and then 3 mil exists, or snap your fingers and then 1 mil exists when it didn't previously exist, this is going to affect the value of flux. However, the fact that they're ultra rare rewards means it's going to only slightly affect the value of flux, but it still will affect the value of flux. That is why, you know, even if America is in debt, they don't just print money because you can't do that because that affects the economy. If America just started printing money and got out of all their debts, then the economy will crash and then the entire, you know, population, uh, you know, all the workers and everybody that lives in that country will suffer from it. This is basically the same thing. Um, it's not to the extent of that, obviously, because it is ultra rare and only a few people or maybe one person a day will get this. But over time, this will affect the value of flux. It's going to crash the economy a little bit. Um, it will start happening from day one and it'll just exponentially grow, you know, every day after that. So this is a little bad. It is also good, obviously, for a new player. If a new player logs in and they get 3 million flux, they're not going to be sad about it. They're not going to care about the economy of the game. They're going to be happy. They just made 3 million flux. But over time, you know, 1.5k cash just is only going to be worth maybe like a million flux and then 700k flux and then 500k flux. And it's going to keep going down and down and down because you are generating something out of nothing. You're basically just making magic, you know, it's coming out of uh, nothing, it's coming out thin air. Um, so there is both sides. Obviously, if you are on the receiving end of the Chaos Chest or the Mega Mega Flex tanks, you're going to be happy. <laughs> but for everyone else, it's going to affect them in a negative way. Um, so moving on, there's only a couple more things to talk about. So they're adding two new $5 packs. They're adding a booster pack, basically, and a Dragon Coin pack. So the Dragon Coin pack is completely not worth it. $5 for 50 Dragon Coins is a scam. Just like every other pack in the game, the booster box one is slightly worth it. It's only $5 and you get a few gem booster boxes, you get um, 8 luck bugs, something like that, and like a, an empowered gem box. That's the only one I would even consider, um, and it's not even worth it in my opinion. So again, just more packs that try and offer for no value at all. And in my opinion, they need to stop doing this and they need to start providing value for their packs. The only pack that exists in this game that is actually worth your money and has value is the Essentials Pack. You buy the Essentials Pack for 30 bucks and you get your money's worth. You get more than your money's worth. You get a lot of stuff out of that. They're not going the same route with any other pack. You know, the costume packs are a scam. The Radiant Pack is literally a scam. They're literally just trying to steal your money from that one. These ones, I'm, I'm just going to say it, man. They're a scam. They're just trying to get a little bit, you know, they're like, hey, it's only $5. That's going to entice... You know, instead of 100 people, it's going to entice 1,000 people with its cheapness. And now they're going to make, you know, $5,000 off of that um, if 1,000 people buy it. And those 1,000 people aren't going to get their money's worth. So, you know, it's just a cheap way to make money. Um, I mean, I think we all can agree. It's very, very, very bad. Um, and then the last thing they talked about is the Dino Tamer. They said they can't discuss the Dino Tamer this week. They will, however, they hinted at discussing it next week at Gamescon. So, you know, Tron are going to be over at Gamescon next week. And they said they might have some information rolling out for the Dino Tamer then and all the class stuff then. Uh, so hopefully we'll get some more information next week. I don't know if they're going to be doing a live stream at Gamescon, but they're at least going to have that information out on the internet, which then I can relate to you guys in these videos and this series. So that's going to be it for this video. Once again, a lot of ups and downs this week. It was a pretty large day. This is like a 20 minute long video of discussion. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a like and I'll see you guys next time.